Hey guys, Jim from Measure Square here. Welcome to part one of the product assignment tutorials and the getting started series for Measure Square 8. In this video, we will cover dragging and dropping various products onto our diagram and deleting those using our product erasers. If you recall from our previous tutorials, on the left side of our screen, we have our product and services tab, and below that, our project items tab. The key difference, if you recall, the project items tab are items that are specific to this diagram. Anything in our product and services tab is part of our master database that is always going to load when you open Measure Square. To add an aerial product to a room, it is simple as left clicking to select that item from either the product services tab or the project items. Dragging and dropping from either tab will accomplish the same thing. So I will left click and hold on this product. You'll see the upside down A appear on my mouse showing I have that product selected. As I move over to a room, you'll see a highlight showing that room is selected. When I release my left mouse, it will add that product into the room. To continue adding this same product to other rooms, I will simply single left click within each room and that product will now be added to the takeoff. If I am finished adding this product, I will simply right click on my mouse and remove that product from my mouse. To assign a linear product to our diagram, such as a wall or rubber base, I will do this in a similar fashion as I did for the aerial product. I will select it on the left side of my screen left click and hold to drag over to the diagram you'll see the inner edges of the room highlight when i release you'll now see that product assigned to that room you will see the yellow dashed lines representing the linear product added to the perimeter of the room and if you notice the areas where i do have a doorway the product will not run past or through those doorways to continue adding this rubber base to the rest of my diagram, I'll simply left click within each room to add it like so. If I do need to add a linear product or a rubber base such as this to a specific wall, I can simply hover over that specific wall, left click, and you'll see it was only added to that wall and not the whole room. To assign a count item, I will again select that item from the left side of my screen, left click and hold, drag over to the desired room. Once I release for this count item, I will have a pop-up that will appear. If I'm using this count item to charge a fee for removal of a large furniture or object, I can just put in the number that are required of that object and select OK. If this is being used for some type of good, like a corner guard, I can select all corners inside or outside corners for this particular room using this count item. Once I have the correct selection applied, I will click OK. And now we will see that count item is added to our room, represented by the orange dot. To assign a product such as a tile to a wall, I will left click on the room of the wall that I need to add this product to. And once I have that room selected, I will go towards the top of my screen to the view menu in our toolbar select view wall now anytime i have a room selected you will see a profile view of our individual walls you'll see that they are numbered to represent which wall i need to add product to as well as if i left click within a wall you will see that highlight on the diagram as well and if you notice for ease of view the rest of the diagram is grayed out, so it's much easier to see our room selected and our wall profile. In order to add this doll tile I have selected on the left side of my screen, I will again drag and drop to my wall profile, and that tile will be added. To add this tile to the rest of the walls, I will simply left click within each of the four walls. Once I am done working on my walls, a best practice is to always go back up to our view wall function, turn that off, so we are not always seeing the wall view as we're working on our diagram. In order to add a transition strip to a doorway, I will select the door transition item I created from the left side of the screen. I will zoom in so it's a little bit easier to see my door. So when I drag and drop this over, you'll see the door highlight. 
when I release my mouse, it will add that transition strip to the doorway. As you can see, if I zoom in, you'll see the green dashed lines representing that transition that I have added. I can then go to the next door, give it a single left click, and add the transitions where needed on each door. If we need to add a product to a stairway, we will do this in a similar manner of dragging and dropping. As you can see, I have a stairway added to my diagram on the right side. Again, we do not want to place our stairways on the actual diagram or within a room, as this will be confusing when adding products. So we always want to put that to the side. This will be in the same manner as dragging and dropping. I will select my CTP1 as a carpet I wish to add to this stairway. I will drag my mouse over the stairway. Once I release my left mouse button, you'll see that I just dragged and dropped that carpet to the stairway, just like I would a room. Now, once all my items are added, if I need to remove any of those items, I can use my product erasers that will always show up in our product slash services tab. And I'll use these in a similar fashion of dragging and dropping. If I left click on the aerial eraser, and then left click and hold to drag, it will highlight the room. Once I release my mouse, it will delete the aerial product from that room. And then if I do a single left click in the following rooms, it will delete that product as well. I will right click to deselect that tool. To erase a linear product, I will use the linear eraser in a similar fashion of the aerial eraser. I can drag and drop that into a room and you'll see that will erase the linear product from the room. If I left click in the corresponding rooms, it will delete those as well. If I need to erase a count product, I will select the count eraser, drag and drop that onto the screen where that count item is. Once I release my mouse, you'll see that orange circle that was there representing our count item is now erased. If I need to erase every single product out of a room, I can select the room products eraser, drag that into a room, release my left click on my mouse, and you'll see all the products are now gone from that room. In the next video, we will cover adding a tile pattern to a floor.